Republicans. Congressman James Clyburn is from South Carolina. He's the assistant Democratic leader in the House. And David Corn is an MSNBC political analyst and Washington bureau chief for good old Mother Jones. Congressman Clyburn, this thing smells. It's of the same thing, of birtherism, of all the attempts to delegitimize this president. They're not going to win with this suit. They just want to smear him. That's my thinking. What's yours? I agree with you. Thank you so much for having me, Chris. I agree with you entirely. All of this is about throwing up as much mud as they possibly can, hoping something will stick to this president. They have failed in every attempt uh, to delegitimize him. This is another way of trying to determine you know, that this president uh, will have no success and uh, hopefully will go down in history uh, as being a president of the United States uh, that got sued by the House of Representatives. And who knows uh, what forum uh, they will pull uh, on this and uh, what judge they will get. And maybe yeah. that they will get some kind of, uh, of a ruling. Uh, to their lock-in. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. You know, the irony is, uh, and, and Congressman Clyburn certainly knows this, every time you ask a Republican, most of them, what are you going to do about health care? They'll say, let's have tort reform. No more frivolous lawsuits. No more frivolous lawsuits. This is the ultimate frivolous lawsuit. Because as the Congressman just said, that he knows the business, they might get the first judge to at least hear the case. And then they'll say, we won. But you, you, you know what? Um, I watched the hearing today, the House Rules Committee, because I knew I was coming on well, and I wanted to do my homework. And you had lawyers out there, Walter Dellinger, who used to be the top guy in the Justice Department, and Jonathan Turley, off the guests, of lawyers. You know, who are on different sides of this. But it seems really pretty obvious that most mainstream experts believe this is too high a legal uh, hurdle to, to, to jump. That you don't have, the House doesn't have standing. So, doesn't the court the, usually stay out of fights between they, the Congress they try and the to stay out of, oh, And Scalia is the biggest fan out of staying out of these political fights. So the thing is, this is really, a, at best, it's a close call whether you bring this so you have to ask yourself, if most lawyers, most legal experts are not behind this, why is Boehner taking the time and energy to do this instead of working on immigration reform, gun violence, well, you, what's, what's jobs or anything? Well, let me ask the because, Congressman, because, why do you think, looking across the aisle, sir, and you're a leader, why do you think the Republican leader, Mr. Boehner, who is not an evil man, why is he doing this when it's a waste of time? Because he has a certain element within his uh, conference, the Republican conference, 40 to 50 people who are driving the agenda. These are people who do not believe that this president ought to be uh, in office. They do not believe he's legitimate, and they are going to try everything they possibly can to delegitimize him. And so if you have this lawsuit, and not telling what will be uh, said uh, in their filings, uh, and it may give them something uh, to hang their hats on, even if they got some kind of a partial victory. I've been telling all my friends today, I do not believe that this is a frivolous lawsuit. I believe that this is a serious lawsuit. And I really believe that we've got to be serious in our response to it. Our lawyers have got to treat this as a serious attempt to delegitimize this president and not take it too lightly. So you think they're going to pursue it all the way and really get the best lawyers and really try to hurt the president historically with this? Absolutely. And we'd better get the best lawyers we can on our side uh, of this issue to argue it as forcefully as we possibly can. They know that even if they were uh, to win, they know uh, that uh, it's, what, two years and uh, the oh, three yeah. or four months yeah. left in this president? This will be a late hit. Yeah, but anyway, Absolutely. Republican... Well, Republicans have officially begun laying the groundwork to sue the president. Uh, here it is today. They were led by Congressman Pete Sessions, who used to run the National Republican Congressional Committee. Of course, that's the group that does everything it can to get more Republicans elected to Congress. Sessions is chairman of the House Rules Committee, which held a hearing, as we said today, to advance legislation to the House floor, which will greenlight Boehner's lawsuit. And that floor vote's expected soon, perhaps next week. Meanwhile, the suit has reignited the impeach Obama red hots in the Absolutely. Republican Party. Those who many Republicans are trying to sweep under the rug. They're trying to hide these people like crazy uncles. Anyway, the last time impeachment talk dominated the party under President 
President Clinton, Republicans suffered a meltdown in those 1998 midterm elections. Yesterday, Dick Cheney, the brain behind a war which killed, let's remind the former vice president, 186,000 people, he became the latest conservative to attack the impeachment crazed wing of the party, the wing that Sarah Palin has recently whipped into a frenzy. Here's Cheney. I'm not prepared at this point to call for the impeachment of the president. I think he is the worst president of my lifetime. I fundamentally disagree with him. I think he's doing a lot of things wrong. I'm glad to see that the House Republicans are challenging him, at least uh, legally at this point. But uh, I, uh, I think that gets to be a bit of a distraction, just like the, the impeachment of Bill Clinton did. Everybody could get uh, geared up to have a big fight over it, but it wasn't going anyplace. So, David, even Dr. Strangelove there yeah. isn't willing to go with this one. Well, it's a joke because he was the, the doomsday big, machine yeah. isn't ready yet. <laughs> he was the biggest fan of expanding executive power that we've probably seen in the White House exactly. for 100 years. And now he's upset because Obama working with business. This is what they don't get. He's working with businesses to implement the law so that businesses have less burden. A lot of corporate America now is worried because if this suit goes forward, it means all the time they come in and say, hey, can we put off that EPA regulation for another six months when we get ready? They won't be able to do this. So well, let me go to the question. He's crazy. a legislator. On As so a lawmaker, levels. isn't it ironic, sir, that the Republican Party, which is always opposed to much regulation and supports business leaders, which is fair enough, that's their deal their constituency, now is saying the president wasn't tough enough on the employer mandate. He didn't push it hard enough. It's certainly ironic that they care about that. Yes, it is. Uh, and uh, uh, that's what's so, uh, uh, so strange about all of this. They are the bringing issues that they have fought against for years. I've been in this body now uh, almost 22 years. And what the Republicans are raising now are things that they have fought against ever since I've been here. And it's so <laughs> strange to me that all of a sudden uh, they have decided that these are legitimate methods uh, to stymie uh, going forward uh, with economic development in this country. And there's nothing more serious to a working family than health care. And here they are uh, trying to use the health care law that was put in place in cooperation with businesses, uh, with the private sector, and with um, uh, many of them. Uh, because this, if you remember, this is the approach that they have been uh, crying out for, for as long as I can remember, then all of a sudden the Heritage Foundation that gave rise to all of this are now denying they ever knew it exists. Well, they'll do more yeah. 180s than you can believe just to hurt this guy. Anyway, there's been a lot of talk of impeachment. And that, coupled with Boehner's lawsuit, is lighting a fire under President Obama. I think he's liking this in a weird way. He's used these attacks against him to go after Republicans because it makes them look crazy. Take a look. I'm not going to apologize for trying to do something while they're doing nothing. Even if he gets sued. You know, uh, the, the suit is a stunt. Middle class families can't wait for Republicans in Congress to do stuff. So sue me. Just sue him. Impeach him. Yeah. Uh, really? <laughs> really? For, for, for what? You're going to sue me to do, for doing my job? I mean, think about that. You, you're going to use taxpayer money to sue me for doing my job <laughs> while, while you don't do your job. Yeah. Their big idea has been to sue me. That's what they're spending time on. A political stunt that wastes uh, America's time and taxpayer dollars. Keep in mind, it's your money that they're going to be spending on these ridiculous pursuits instead of just getting some work done. So, Congressman, do you think mockery like that's going to work against these crazies on the right? I like the sound of it. Do you think it'll work? I love the sound of it, yes, but no, it will not work. The fact of the matter is their minds are made up. Uh, all of this is about besmirching the character of this president. This is about trying to delegitimize uh, his place uh, uh, in history. Uh, and they are never going to give up on that. Uh, I've been saying that for the last uh, five mm -hmm. or six years. They are dug in on this issue. They will not stop uh, until his term uh, comes to an end. Thank you so much. U.S. Congressman James Clyburn of South Carolina. It's great to have you on, sir.